We would like to know if this series converges or diverge. Sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, n over phi to the n. If you look at the form, here we have phi to the n, the n is in the exponent. But then we have this n on the numerator. This is now a geometry series. But then because when we have phi to the n, the n is in the exponent, we can try to use the ratio test whenever the n is in the exponent. Give it a try. For the ratio test, what we do is that we check the limit as n goes to infinity, absolute value of an plus 1 over an. This expression is just the next term divided by the current term. So that's the ratio. Okay, the ratio of the next term and the current term. If we have the limit, if we know the limit is less than 1, then we know that the series converge absolutely. But then if L is bigger than 1, then we know this series diverges. If L is equal to 1, unfortunately, we don't know if it converges or not. It's inconclusive for the ratio test. So we are going to apply the ratio test right here to see what do we get. And I want to make a remark. In this situation, unfortunately, I cannot use the um, comparison test. I will make another video on why the comparison test won't work in this case. But let's focus on the ratio test now. So for the ratio test, we are going to check the limit. So let's go ahead and do that. So we are going to check. I will just write down as n goes to infinity. That is pretty much checking the limit. And I'm going to write down this expression in the following way. Instead of writing the absolute value of an plus 1 over an, let me write it down as absolute value of an plus 1 times the reciprocal of an. Okay, an plus 1 times 1 over an. And this is the same as that, isn't it? Alright, so this right here, an plus 1, how do we get the expression for that? We look back to the original, instead of all the n right here that we had, change them to n plus 1, that's all. And then we will have n plus 1 over phi to the n plus 1. That's a n plus 1. And then we multiply by the reciprocal of a n. So you look at the original and then just switch it, flip that, you know, make it upside down. We will have phi to the n on the top over the n on the bottom. Okay. This way, you will save you one step because if you set it this way, most likely you end up with a, a complex fraction and you have to do this anyways. And then we will have the absolute value. Let's just keep it. And then at the moment, we're just doing algebra, so I'll put on the equal sign. And let's do more algebra. Focus on the an plus 1 term right here. Especially for the exponent, phi to the n plus 1, we can break it apart. This is the same as saying phi to the n times phi to the first power by using the rule of exponents. When we add, we're just going to break it apart like that. And then we immediately see that the phi to the n cancel with this phi to the n, which is very nice. Okay? And I will do more algebra right here. On the top, all we have left is just the n plus 1. And that's, there's nothing else right here. So I'll put down n plus 1. On the denominator, we have phi to the first, which is phi, and then multiply by n. So I'll put down phi n. And then I'm going to just you know lose the absolute value because the inside, okay, the expression inside is always positive anyways. The absolute value doesn't matter anymore. And then you see that now this is the most that we can do to simplify the expression, and we are going to take the limits now. So I will draw arrow instead. And when we have n plus one over phi n, n matters on the top, and then we only have phi n on the bottom. The one, the plus one doesn't matter. So this will approach to n over phi n, and of course the n can be cancelled, therefore we know this approaches to 1 over 5. And that's the limit, and that's the L. More importantly, 1 over 5, we know that this is less than 1. So we are talking about the first situation, when the L is less than 1, and we know that the original series converges, absolutely. But we can just say, this converges, okay? So I will just write down the conclusion. The original series, when n goes from 1 to infinity, n over phi to the n, we can just write it down, it converges, okay? But technically, I should have said it converges absolutely, but this is fine. This series converges, and I will just say 
by the ratio test. So this right here is the conclusion. And that was the check. This is it.